Hillary Clinton called me in my office in July of 2000, and I started my video camera to capture a conversation that we had with myself and other people in the office. Whatever it is you're doing, I, is it okay that I thank you? <laughs> I think it's tremendous. No, you know what? We're having a good time trying to help out. Well, I, I'm very appreciative. It sounds fabulous. I got a full report from Kelly uh, today when she got back and told me everything that uh, you're doing, and it just sounds like it's going to be a great event. But I just wanted to call and personally thank all of you. I'm glad you were all together so that I could tell you how much this means to me and it's going to mean a lot to the president, too. This five-minute videotape, which was taken in the offices of where a call was received from Hillary Clinton that has her voice on it quite clearly, shows a number of violations of the law. First of all, it shows that she had personal involvement and personal knowledge of the details of this gala, whereas she has had her representatives in the criminal court, in the civil case, and before the FEC represent that she had no knowledge of this. So that is suborning perjury. That is obstructing justice. You hear her describing how she solicited a contribution by share who was to be one of the main performers at this gala. Now, what she did there would be legal only if the services of Cher to come and sing at a concert are worth less than $2,000. Therefore, she was soliciting an illegal contribution, so that, too, is a violation of the law. What this tape shows is that contrary to the idea that some high-minded citizens got together and put together this gala, for the benefit of the Clinton campaign, that she was directly, specifically involved in the planning of this. She says on this tape that Kelly, which means Kelly Craighead, her White House liaison, had fully briefed her, quote unquote, up to the point of the phone call, and furthermore, that she would keep her informed after that. So there's the connection of the candidate to this allegedly independent program. And the FEC law is quite clear. It is a felony, punishable by up to five years in jail, for a candidate to be directly involved in this sort of fundraising activity if it exceeds $25,000. And the FEC found that it exceeded $1.2 million. It's crime on tape, very simple. What we're seeing here is a corruption of the political process, a corruption of the electoral process. Hillary Clinton and her representatives have been able to squash investigations in all three branches of government. The, the corruption just seems to extend to everything. We also have the largest fraud in election funding history. We also have the only instance I'm aware of where there is an electronic recording of the candidate involved in election felonies. When citizens truly care about an issue, they sometimes have to put their lives and careers on the line for that issue, and that's what Peter Paul is doing in this case. People will finally realize the threat posed by Hillary Clinton to this country and the rest of the world.